Hello, my name is Alon and I'm a product manager at Redis Labs. Welcome to my session introducing our new ALTAP integration with Redis Enterprise software. During this session, I will give a short background about LDAP. I will recap Redis ACL and role-based access control on Redis Enterprise. I will present our new LDAP integration and explain the way it works. Finally, I will summarize the benefits of using Redis Enterprise with LDAP and list key takeaways from this session. Hope you enjoy. Before I begin, let me just introduce myself. I am Alon Magrafta, Product Manager of Redis Enterprise Core Platform. I work at Redis Labs for two years now, and I'm based in Tel Aviv. And now, let's start. So what is LDAP? LDAP, short for Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, is simply a protocol used to integrate with external identity providers, such as an Active Directory or different LDAP servers. In a sense, LDAP is similar to SSO, single sign-on, such as Okta, Gmail authentication, Facebook authentication, and others. It is used to provide an easy integration with organizations' user management tools. It allows companies to centralize the management workflows like new hires, role changes, and employee separation. Entities in LDAP are managed at the organization directory tree. It can be a simple structure or a very complex one. It doesn't matter. Each entity is identified by its distinguished name. Users and groups are two main entities we will focus on, and users can be associated with one or more groups. Now, before we continue, let me do a short recap of, Redis, of ACLs in Redis Enterprise. Redis access, Redis access Control List, which was introduced in Redis 6, is the feature that allows connections to be limited in terms of the command, commands that can be executed and in terms of the keys that can be accessed. Instead of having to share a single password, disable commands to limit access, and all connections and users would get full data access. Redis ACLs allow you to create and use multiple different users, restrict each one of them to specific commands and specific keys. Redis Enterprise scales ACLs using role-based access control. While on open source Redis, each user it, each user is defined per single database with a single ACL rule. On Redis Enterprise, users, roles, and ACLs are managed by the cluster administrator across all databases in a many-to-many -many fashion. Roles may apply uh, to Redis Enterprise Admin Console as well as for database connections. The benefits are clear. You improve for operational security with persona-based access to different users based on their job description, developers, operations, applications, and others. Some with data access, other with none. You reduce attack surface by segregating data, and you apply list privileges policies according to minimum privileges required. So what's new? LDAP integration existing, existed for a long time on Redis Enterprise. But let's compare what we had before version 6.20 to what we have with it. Before 6.20, LDAP was used for authentication only. Now LDAP is used for authentication and for authorization. Before 6.20, LDAP was used only for access on only to access the management UI console and for API calls. Now it is used for the management layer as well as for the data access using any Redis clients to connect to the database. With 6.20, we added new easy and intuitive configuration pages on the UI console 
which didn't exist before. And while before you had to uh, add and configure your LDAP users on Redis Enterprise, now there is no need for that. Redis Enterprise just integrates with your existing user management tool. How, do the, how does the flow look like? A user attempts to log in, providing a username and passwords to Redis Enterprise. These credentials can be for logging in the UI, for sending an API call, or for connecting to a database using a Redis client. Redis Enterprise then tries to derive the user distinguished name from the LDAP server using authentication queries. We then try to perform a single bind with the user's distinguished name and the password. Effectively, this is the authentication step. If the bind fails, the user gets, gets rejected by, by Redis Enterprise. On the next step, using authorization queries, Redis Enterprise obtains a list of LDAP groups which the user is a member of. These groups are then being used to match what we call LDAP mappings. The LDAP mappings map the group's distinguished name that the user is a member of to, to roles on Redis Enterprise. These roles derive the appropriate type of authorization for the user. To enable the LDAP integration, you will need to configure the following configuration configurations just one time. Connection settings, also allowing you secure connection to your LDAP server, authentication and authorization queries, and the LDAP groups to role mapping. It is very important to mention that to ensure Redis highest performance, Redis Enterprise uses several optimization mechanisms, maintaining low latencies and high throughput, even with, even with high volume of connection requests and operations. These optimizations also are preventing Redis Enterprise from jamming the LDAP server. The benefits of, uh, of the new LDAP integration are leverage existing investment in user management ecosystem, keep, keep your security and compliance policies such as passport standards and rotation policies. Quick integration and setup, save time and overhead per application, and it's scalable. Do it yourself. Here are two screenshots presenting the new LDAP configuration page and the, and the new LDAP group mappings page. On the right screenshot, you can find the connection settings and the authentication and authorization query settings. On the left screenshot, you can see how to add or edit LDAP mappings of LDAP groups to roles on Redis Enterprise. For further information, you can find more resources at our website and documentation. Links are listed here on the right hand side. You can find there all the relevant information about LDAP, how it works, how to configure it, how to migrate from the previous integration to the new one, and how to troubleshoot. You can also go on our download center and try it out. It's time to recap and summarize the key takeaways from this session. Grab a pen and a piece of paper or use your favorite notes application. There they are. With Redis Enterprise a new LDAP integration, you can have the ability to use LDAP to access your database. Utilize role-based access control with LDAP, including authorization. It's scalable user management solution. It improves security and compliance policies. And it has easy setup and integration with existing systems. I hope you, find the, you found this session useful and learned new stuff. Thank you for, very much for your time and for joining me today. Bye-bye.